Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel to another episode of the Sri Lanka series. Today we are leaving Gandhi and we're gonna get the local transportation to the city of Dambula. I heard there's a lot of things to do over there, especially counting that we have the cave, we have Sirigidia next to it, so I'm very excited to go up north. I am fully ready with my Sri Lankan t-shirt that I bought yesterday. So let's make the check out, let's get a tuk-tuk and let's go to the bus station to try to go through one of the most local experiences that you can do here in the country, which is to get the local bus. Perfect. Thank you so much. It's going to take around two hours on this uh, AC bus. So I think it's very empty right now, so it's very exciting. Let's, let's get in. Uh, maybe we can wait a little bit and let's ask for the price. Do we pay three tickets so we can put all the luggage on one seat? Well, Astra, one by one ticket, okay? Huh? Astra ticket, one uh, package. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. One for the bus? Yeah. yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we made it to the bus. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> yeah, that was such smooth was, sailing. That was such a smooth, such a smooth thing to do. Like we just got on the bus. Everything has been so easy. Like no, no complications. Like sit here sit here sit here we paid for three tickets though because um, obviously we got a lot of luggage so this would be a person that would be able to sit there so we paid for a ticket for ourselves and for the luggage so yay it's nice to have our stuff with us actually back in the luggage let's go to Dambula <gasps> let's go to Dambula it was a good trick to not get overcharged is to have a look back to see how much money they are charging to the local people that's my job right now Five seven zero ticket. Someone is stopping very light, right? Look at this. One, two, three. Yeah, I know. I know it's too much. <laughs> Let's just forget that I have like all my luggage on me. Right? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, but this is a bigger size, I think. No, you have a bigger tuk tuk than usual. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I will thank you. It is very good. Yeah. your favorite part of Sri Lanka? <laughs> ah, you mean the, uh, which place I like in Sri Lanka? Yeah. I like in Sri Lanka. Which your favorite? Uh, I like especially in this area. This area? Yes, my born city. I like this area. You, you, born, you born here? Yeah, I know actually. Yeah, I'm born here. Yeah. In Dambula. In the city Dambula. Yeah. In Dambula, yes. Do you have any recommendation for good food? Uh, yes. You try to go. There is a, the one place in the city where we met in Dambula. The near when you get off the bus. Uh -huh. In there is a like local restaurant. It's called like BBH Bentenore restaurant. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan for tomorrow. What means? Shante. 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 Okay. Santo Santo In Tamil. Santo Shama for happy. Santo Shama. Oh, for happy. In Tamil. Oh. Well, thank you so much, my friend. We really, oh. really appreciate that you take the effort to make us have a lovely journey. We just made it to the guest house. This is very cozy. The weather is not right now the best. It's a little bit cloudy, but we don't care because now the only thing that we have in mind is to have some good food 
and perhaps put to charge a little bit the stuff, relax a little bit. Uh, ideally this afternoon I would love to go and make the next video about the Tambula Caves. I'm fully prepared for that. But it's actually really interesting to come here and to see what kind of activities they have around because Tambula, as I mentioned on the introduction of the video, we have so many activities that we can actually do when we come here. They have a small little plan of the things that you can actually do if you're in here. So what we're going is to be Dambula Tempo. But we also have a very close to here, we have Pidurangala, we have Sriguilla, we have a couple of activities that for sure is going to happen in the next couple of days and the next couple of videos. Traveling sometimes when you watch the fun videos it looks like it's always an adventure but we also have like these transition days where like we wake up, we have to pack all the stuff, we need to grab the luggage, move somewhere. Sometimes it's a little bit more chaotic as you could see in other videos, sometimes it just played out perfectly as it did today. Two hours bus, simple, easy peasy, we just came to the guest house. Uh, we already got a tuk-tuk driver number which has been very nice and uh, so far the people from the hostel has told us that we can uh, borrow the bikes the normal bikes, no scooters <laughs> and if we want to also we can rent a scooter if we want to do it uh, for a couple of days if we want to go a little bit farther and have a little bit more freedom without having to count on a tuk-tuk or someone waiting for us so let's have some food Ooh, what is all of this? I had it, uh, dal. Dal. And, this, I love dal. and the, the coconut Coconut, coconut is my favorite. Hola, good job. You saw the preparation. This is the execution. Wow. This lady cannot wait in one second for me to make it. No, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so excited. We even have some dal here. We are now in the Dambula Caves, guys. We're on the entrance right now. We just figured it out that we should not be filming face to face like this with Buddha behind so we're gonna give the information a little bit more spread off but so far we are enjoying so much how beautifully green this area is the weather is not uh, the absolute nicest because it's a little bit uh, cloudy I would feel a little moisty but we are ready to head in and give you a little bit of the information about the place We are in the middle of the cultural triangle Polo Narugua, Anurada, Anurada Pura and Candy. So to come here you can come from any of the places. We took a two hours drive from Candy, which was very easy, very convenient, very cheap. Once you come to the city there's basically no loss. It's like the caves are almost in the middle of the city. And you have to go all these stairs up until we finally reach the point. Dambula Caves are located around 340 meters above the sea level. It rises a massive rock from the surrounding plains of Dambula with insane dimensions. If you notice all this way up, it is such a beautiful, such a beautiful little hike to go to the top. We're gonna find loads of Buddha images and cave paintings in this area. Beautiful. Since the third century, the monks have been upgrading this cave. So it's until like 18th century that they stop constructing and making more things inside. So now we have to be respectful and we don't have to ever portray ourselves in front of the Buddha. <laughs> wow, this is very impressive. First, second, third, fourth, five caves. Yes. <sighs> All right, guys. Now that we're outside, let me show you a little bit. We have like five caves one two three four five over there we're gonna start from the new ones and we're gonna end up coming on the most important ones right at the end Sinhalese people call this Dambulu Gala which means Dambula Rock and it's also known as Dambula Golden Rock Temple I feel like I'm getting back my temperature I'm sweating so much let's just start for cave number five cave number five is called cave of the new temple this is the newest of all the cave temples at Dambula and the exact construction time of this temple is really not known Before we have the cave of the Western Temple. The main attraction here is the beautiful Buddha sitting down in the Dhyana Mudra posture. Statues of the god Vishnu and Saman, they're also found in this temple, guys. Remember when you come here that one of the cool things that you can do, and it's a very respectful move, is to bring some flowers and offer them to Buddha. Many people does it here and it gives such a beautiful sensation when you come to the temple and it's filled up with flowers. Cave number three, we have cave of the great new temple. Bro, the statue of the Buddha here is carved into the rock. 
here there are like 40 standing Buddhas and like around 15 sitting down Buddha. And one of the most fascinating things is the thousand seated Buddha that are like painted on the roof. You can tell how the older ones are a little bit bigger and eh? they've been properly preserved for quite some time. The newer ones are kind of small, the fourth and the fifth. Third one so far is gigantic, guys. It's so beautiful and it's so impressive to see all the paintings and everything on the cave. It's wow. I have to admit that it feels a little bit hassling to film so I don't want to do it anymore over there we're gonna head down a little bit to the city we have like this beautiful path all the way down so let's have a beer and reflect about the experience down there wow. that's crazy look at that golden Buddha guys wow 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 we have a little fun club over here. Yeah. And your name? Sammy. Sammy. What's your name? Rachel. And what is your name? Do you want to say hello to YouTube? Hello. 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 Hey. Uncle, welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> you called him Uncle? He's not that old yet, guys. Yeah, Uncle. He's like my cousin. Brother, brother. We say brother. Brother. Like oh, my brother. That is better than yeah. Uncle. You're brother. so old now. <laughs> Uncle Ruben. <laughs> Uncle Ruben. To be fair, most of my friends are starting to have kids. So I feel like organically falling into the Uncle situation. So we have made it to the Golden Temple. This is a big, big Buddha, guys. My lord. We're gonna finish the video here, guys. This has been a fun experience to arrive to Zambula. Tomorrow we're gonna do some hiking and we're gonna get some good rocks. Meanwhile, Rachel is getting famous with some kids. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Uncle. Uncle. Uncle and cousin. But it's okay. Subscribe! Yeah.